A lot of individuals will carry one of these, a saw blade with them, either strapped to the back of their belt or rolled up inside a bush pot. So when they get into camp, they can then use this effectively and they don't have to carry a frame in. But I think it's important that if you're going to do that, you understand the first step to using this saw blade and that's using it without any frame. Now it is inherently dangerous to use any type of cutting tool, specifically a cutting tool that isn't in proper form. So this blade should be in some type of frame, either a bow saw or a buck saw frame in order to keep ourselves safe. But if we're out here and this is all we have, how do we use it effectively in order to keep ourselves safe? The biggest thing you need to think about is we're going to be holding this blade. So at some point there may be contact or close contact between your hand and those teeth themselves. The biggest injury that's gonna happen with this is while we are cutting, we're gonna slide on that saw itself and cut our fingers open. So there's three different ways that you can approach this in order to cut pieces for your frame and make this saw more effective. The first thing you need to realize when you decide to cut before we even get into different ways to hold this blade is that we need to look at the blade itself and realize we're never going to be able to hold this blade by hand and use the full length of the blade the same way we would if we had a frame with this. So an easy demonstration for this is to think about it this way. If I'm holding the blade here and I'm trying to, trying to saw out here, we have a lot of flex, okay? You can just see it's like a diving board. Way out here it's moving a lot. Where it's not moving a lot is in close to my hand. So as that blade bounces, okay, out here it's moving a lot, in here very little. So our cutting motion needs to be within this first three or four inches above our hand. So very short controlled strokes is going to get the job done. It's gonna take longer, but it's gonna be more efficient. If we try to use this whole blade, we have a better chance of that blade binding up and bending and then sliding our hand forcefully forward and cutting our fingers. The first method of actually cutting with this blade without a frame is to actually just hold the blade above the teeth itself. So I'm keeping my fingers above those teeth and I'm keeping my thumb above those teeth also. So we're keeping everything clear of the teeth. At that point then I can just work back and forth with a sawing action within that first four inches above my hand and that is going to affect a nice clean cut. Next option, Wear a glove. Wearing a glove is going to allow us to still grip that blade the same way, but we can actually let our fingers lay against the blade. We just don't want to go around the blade itself. So we want to just be on the blade. Again, use that first four inches and cut. This is going to offer a little bit of protection, but this blade versus this, this doesn't stand a chance. So just keep that in mind. We can also then, if we don't have gloves, take some type of piece of cotton or take the shirt off our back and just wrap it around that handle. If you get enough cotton around that handle, you can actually grip this with a full grip. Again, what you wanna think about though is that flex of that blade. That blade's flexing a lot out here. It's not flexing much in here. So that first four inches above your hand is where we wanna cut at with this technique. So just remember, these saw blades are made to be put into a frame, but we might have to use the saw blade as the blade itself and cut what we need in order to affect that frame. And we're gonna talk about that in future videos. But just keep yourself safe. This is one of the more dangerous things we do with blades if we carry just that blade. So use one of these techniques, stay safe, and make yourself a good frame as soon as possible. This was Dan Welk Coal Cracker Bushcraft. Stay tuned for more videos on making frames for these saws out in the field, and see you then.